Hello bookworms, here's how to build a simple Notion book library from scratch. If you want a more in-depth and sophisticated template, then I have a free template below. But today is all about learning Notion and building from scratch your very own Notion book library. So let's get into it. So here we have our blank page. So what we're going to do here is forward slash data and we're going to click here on gallery view. Instead, what we could have done here is created a table or a database table, but because we like the book covers and half the reason we buy books is because we like the cover designs, we want an actual gallery instead. So I'll just click here on new gallery and I will call this, so let's call this bookshelf. So by default, you're going to have three here. So what you can do is right click and delete, right click, delete, and we'll click here. And this here is going to be where you enter the name of the book, where it says page one here. And if you just click on new item here, where it says untitled, that is where you are adding the name of the book. So let's go with feel good productivity. Now here you can see we have the created field. This isn't very useful. I don't need to know when I added this. Personally, I don't think that's useful. So I can just click on delete here. Then by default here, we have tags. So what I'm going to do is just delete this for those of you who aren't seeing that. So I'll click on add a property here. And here we can see all of the different properties that we can use in Notion. So let's click on the select and here I can name the select. So let's say that this is the type of book. By the way, if you like building in Notion, I have a Notion course. Depending on when you're seeing this, it's either the waitlist or it's already launched. It's all about how you can use Notion to fully optimize your productivity and not just pretend to be productive. The link is in the description if you're interested. So here, let's say we have uh, productivity. And then we can start adding all the other ones just because I have this open doesn't mean it has to be under this. So productivity, health, business, there we go. So as you can see, this here is a singular select. So if I say health, then productivity or business will get removed. So I can only say one in here. If we want, we can have a multi-select by clicking on edit property. And instead of having the type as select, we can have multi-select. So if you want to be able to select two, then you can have that. I'm just going to keep it as select to make it lazy for myself. And as you can see, Notion using AI knows, okay, I know you're talking about books right now. So it says, do you want maybe the author? Do you want the genre? Do you want the publisher? Do you want the publication date? Now, all of this stuff can be useful, but I actually think it gets too confusing. The more stuff you have here, it's just going to be overwhelming to fill out every single time you want to add a book. I don't think it's worth it personally. But the other thing I would like to have up here is a star rating. So for this, we can do a select again. Now I'll just call this rating or review, whatever you want. And here, what we are going to do now is create some stars. So sadly, for some reason, you cannot do colon star in here like you can normally in Notion. So we're going to have to copy and paste it. So if I do colon star here, you can see I get up all of these emojis in Notion. So I'll click on a star here and I'll highlight this and do copy. And then I'll paste this here, paste and create. And then I'll do paste, paste, create, so forth. And now we have one to five star. So I can also change the background of these stars here. So as you can see, this one's blue. If I want, I can do this one as light gray. This one can be darker gray. This one can be brown, sure. Then this one might be yellow. And then let's just do this one as orange. So now we have the different star ratings here. So what we're going to do in here in our bookshelf is add a grouping to this. So if you haven't used groupings before in Notion, it is one of the big three powerful things that you can do in databases. One of them is filters, one of them is sort, and the other is group. So group here, you can see we are grouping by none. We have no group right now. We can say we want to group by review here. So as you can see, feel good productivity has a five star rating. So it's sitting underneath here. And then there are hidden groups. This one, if it has no review, this one star, two star, blah, blah, blah. So it's all in here. So what we can do is change this gallery view here, rename this to reviews. And then if we click on this icon here, we can say star and click on the star. So now we are seeing all of our books broken down by the review. So if I now right click on this and do duplicate, what we can do is say unread. And then I'll click here on this star icon here. And let's just do a circle, for example. So right now we have group by review. I'm going to click on remove grouping. So as you can see, it says unread and we have no grouping here. Now, because we've given feel good productivity a five star review, that means we've read it. So we won't want to see it in here. So what we are going to do is create a filter. 
So if we click on this filter button here, we want to say the filter here is only on this tab where if the review is empty. So if the review is empty, so we haven't given it a review, that means it's unread. And when we give it a review, then it's no longer in the unread list here. So let's add a book for our work week. Of course, you have to add that. So for our work week is sitting here under unread. If I go to reviews here, you can see the five star here and then under here we have no review. So if we don't wanna see the no reviews, even though we can just use this toggle, but if we don't wanna see them at all on this page, what we can do is click on the three dots, click on group and here where it says no reviews, click on that. And we can also say that we don't want to hide empty groups as well if we want. So I can click on that and now we can see the one star, two stars, blah, 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 even if there's no books in there. So if I go back to the unread here and we have four hour work week, Let's say, oh my God, this is such a good book. I love it. And I give it a review of five star. Now that means I have finished the book and it is no longer here and it has moved to the five star section in here. Now you might be thinking, well, there's no book covers here. Absolutely. So I'll show you how to do that. There are three ways of doing this. We can either add a property and click on media here, files and media and add that image. This is my least favorite way to do it as I think it takes the most amount of time. The other way of doing it is adding the image in here. So you just find the image online, copy it and then paste. And then as you can see, it shows up here. Now it's pushed to the border and we're not seeing the entire book cover, which is annoying, but we can fix that by clicking on these three dots, clicking on layout. And then here we can see fit image. So if I click on that, as you can see, we can now see the entire book cover. Now this is one way of doing it and it's probably the fastest. But if you are the type of person who wants to take notes in the same place, so if you wanna take notes in here, you're going to have to scroll down underneath this book cover and it might get a bit messy and just not look that clean. So the best way to do that then is to not actually put the book cover here. That way we can take notes. Only work four hours. Wow. You can put the notes in here. What we're going to do is click on add cover, then change cover. And then here where it says link, that's where you can paste the link of the image. You'll do copy image address and paste that in here and do submit. Now there is one last step to make this work. As you can see, when we click away, we are seeing only work four hours. Wow. Now that is because it is showing us the inside of this card. So what we will do is click on these three dots here and click on the layout. And instead of having card preview as page content, so it's previewing what's inside of this card, Instead, we are going to change it from page content to page cover. So the last thing to add here is to say that we want to be able to see what type this is. So for our work week, let's say that this is to do with business. I know it's about productivity as well, but we'll click on the three dots here, click on properties, and then we want to say that we want to be able to see the type. So I'll click here and now we can see the type. And then we'll do the same thing for unread. We'll click on the three dots and click on properties and say we want to see the type. It doesn't make sense to show the review because none of these will have reviews. So that doesn't make any sense. So we can turn that off and just say we want to see the type here. Now the last thing we can do is duplicate the unread here and have it by category or by type. So I'll click here, click on this icon. I might say book, there we go. And what we'll do here is still have just the unread ones. So it's still all the unread ones, but instead of it just being in a random order, what we'll do is group these by the different type. So I'll click here, group by type. So now we have productivity and let's say I add another book, blah, instead of being productivity is health, as you can see, blah, the book shows up in health. So now we are still seeing the unread ones, but they are just broken down by the different types. Kind of like if you walked in a library or into a bookshop, they would be by all of these different categories. If you want to see a more extensive personal book library notion template, then click on this video here. I go a lot more in depth and it has a lot more features. Or if you want to check out my personal productivity template, then click on this video here. Thank you so much for watching.